All right, so I got a question about when to hinge and how to hinge and how to practice hinging. So I'm in the sand trap here. This is a great way for you to practice your short game shots in the bunker because you really don't have too much room for error in here, uh, unlike when you're in the rough or you're on a fairway. So what you're gonna do to work on your hinging is number one, when we don't hinge in the sand trap, we end up making these nice shallow um, divots, okay? What we're looking for instead to hinge and hit down is you're gonna start to feel like you're actually digging down into the ground and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that feel. So if I take a ball and I do a non-hinge type of situation here, you can see I kind of am able to just try, able to pitch it out and get all ball, right? Well, if I'm looking for a little bit more hinge in my swing, uh, especially in my short game, I'm gonna go ahead and try hinging and making sure I make that deep, deep divot down. And that's gonna pop the ball up in the air a little bit more than what you're used to, which is what we're looking for with that hinge. Now, if we do a reverse hinge or we unhinge too early, you can also feel this in the sand trap. You're gonna be able to feel like you're kind of skimming the top of the ground and we're not really looking for that. We're actually looking to maintain the shaft lane or that angle that you've created on the way back. So if I do it reverse, it's gonna be nice and shallow, okay? You might wanna use that when you're in a sand trap and you're really close to the green. But in our case, since we're looking for just a nice hinge practice, I'm just gonna go ahead and hinge and hold, and that's gonna pop the ball out just like that.